Yes. Uh huh. This fraud, yeah, a deliberate and unwillful deception, yeah, for unlawful gain. <laughs> you know, usually you wouldn't use a forgery unless somebody got paid, yeah. And as many times as I've been on the court website, and let's go on the Washington State Court website and kind of go through the IP addresses and add them up. <laughs> because I had to watch you violate the laws of the United States. <laughs> See, every time you put something on the public court record where I know you're violating the laws, <laughs> it was frustrating. <laughs> But usually you wouldn't cause that kind of frustration unless you were getting paid the unlawful gain of issuing court orders that are fraudulent. Mm -hmm. Now I know you're living under the illusion, the misperception that you won't be prosecuted because in this county you can buy whatever you want and no one ever goes to prison. But my concern is that when I'm sitting there, yes, and I go on the Washington State Court website, and I see there's an entry into into one of the cases that involve my name. Yes, but I didn't get notice of court hearings. Mm -hmm. And there's the frustration of not being able to communicate. Mm -hmm. Now, after years of having to endure your frustrations in my personal life, yes, I have to believe the sheriff got paid. Oh. <laughs> the prosecuting attorney, Mark Nichols. <laughs> How about Bruce Hanafy? Mm -hmm. It's not that he was an ineffective counsel, right? He was disloyal to me as his uh, client. <clears throat> now, I'm sitting here thinking of lawsuits today. <laughs> the unlawful gain of fraud that has caused me seven years and eight months of frustration. <clears throat> and um, I know that you say, well, I have to motion a court judge, Kogenhauer. <clears throat> But I would say that if you've eaten anything that is not uh, licensed for sale in this state or any state for that matter, yes, you could have been ingesting products that had no manufacturer's label. <laughs> now, as much as we don't like to talk about drugs, as in they said it was cocaine, but it wasn't. <clears throat> they said it was crystal meth, but it wasn't. Ooch. <laughs> they said it was heroin, but it wasn't. <laughs> You know, I noticed that um, there's the possibility of drying certain fluids from those that are in the family. Yes. And if you were to eat that, smoke that, or snort that, yes, you get this kind of high. Yes. Now, I myself have not used any drugs, though I did smoke marijuana when it was legalized. Yes. And I haven't drank for 25 years. <laughs> But I've seen those in meetings and what the effect was of certain products that you said were drugs. <laughs> now, if we did a real blood test right now, exactly what were you producing there, big dog? Well, there are certain ways, isn't that right? Yeah, to affect the thoughts of a person using products from the family that are not real persons, are they? <laughs> Let's make, oh, a twin, oh. A look-alike. Oh, a clone. Mm. Now, exactly what is the product of those that are designed to read the orgasms of the population? You know, ingredients are very important. When I lived on Guam, <clears throat> I went to a store once, and I was doing some shopping, and there was a priest there. Mm -hmm. Well, the priest was broken. That's how I explained it. He had involved himself in something illegal, and he had lost that covering of the holiness of the priesthood. Yeah. Well, somebody said, no, no, he is actually a very good priest. And I said, no, uh, he was the bee on me, and he's actually corrupted. Poop. Now, when you're in the ministry and you're corrupted, it's like buying what is known as salami. Yes. But the actual ingredients of it are chicken, beef, and pork. Poop. And when you look at the ingredients of what is allegedly right now, you could call yourself a sheriff, but you're not. What's in you is rotten. <laughs> it's the leftover innards of animals. <laughs> now, I'm going to look at the products that you've been buying. Yeah. You've been eating. Ouch. You've been smoking. <laughs> you've been snorting. Ouch. You've been injecting. Ow. You know, this thought that you're going to gain from my frustration. Mm -hmm. 
Now I've informed you that it's fraud and forgery. Yes, I told you that I wanted my sons, right? I did speak to you about wanting Marilyn Van Proyen, as in wanting her. It's not that I just want to speak to her. I make it sound kind of nice, like, well, I'd like to have a talk with her. I actually want her living with me for the rest of my life. Now, as much as you would say she's not that attractive, I think that once I'm the judge of her actual attractiveness, yes. I'm going to find her very attractive. Judge! What'd you snort? <laughs>